It's a collaboration with D&D &D Gallery. Keep watching! Welcome! Thanks so much for joining me. My name is Soraya and if you're new, please subscribe. Today is Collaboration Day. I'm so excited. It's with D&D &D Gallery and I'll leave their link in the description box below as well as in the video. So we're doing a pour on a 16 by 20 inch canvas and um, we have three specific colors to work with. Gold, copper and white and two of our choice. And then I did some enhancements. So keep watching to see how I created this. Okay, so here is the canvas. It's a 16 inch by 20 inch canvas or 40 centimeters by 50 centimeters. And that's what we're both gonna be using. We, uh, the base, uh, the colors choices were, well, not choices, the colors were white, copper, and gold and two other colors of our choices, of our choice. So my two colors are this bluey purpley color. It is quite beautiful. And then this kind of chartreuse color. So I think that'll be interesting. So I'm gonna flood this and pour and uh, blow it out and then go from there needs to be thin consistency. I'm just going to pour it and blow it with my hair dryer on low. If you want to do this, don't do it too high. It it'll just make a big mess. Whoa, that's a bit much. Oh no. Oh boy. This is a Dutch pour, so I'm going to be pouring the some more white on top of that. I think I just put too much. And then this green on top of this. All right. That blue is just a bit much. Oh dear. I'm going to put a little bit on here. Being a little bit messy. Blow it over. Whoa! Oh my goodness. What a mess. Oh boy. That's no good. A shame about that. I'm gonna see if I can take it off this way. That's a nice thing about this method. You can take off what you make when you make a mistake like that and then just re-pour a little bit and blow that. Thankfully I had enough white to do that. All right, I'm just gonna blow this out. Now I lost a lot of the gold. I guess I didn't put enough in there, but you can really see the copper and that purpley blue has really taken over. The green is lighter here, but more pronounced here. And there's some beautiful lacing everywhere and it shines, the copper really shines. I wish I could put a little bit more gold in there, but I don't know if I should be uh, trying to blow it out again. So I kind of lost it. I don't think I added enough. That's all it was. But the copper shining through here. So um, that looks really awesome. <laughs> I really like it. Yeah, I'm going to bring you down so you can see it up close. 
Here it is up close. Look at that beautiful sparkle and shine. Look at the sparkles. So it's a beautiful combination of colors. This blue, purpley blue is quite stunning and lots of subtle lacing. It is beautiful. Look, little dots of green here and there and look at the sparkle there. It is quite beautiful. So the collab was, like I said, um, gold, copper, and white, and two colors of our choice. And I chose the chartreuse and this purpley blue. And I think it worked out beautifully. And that it is overall. I love the negative effect on either side as well. Probably should do it that way. I will show you up close also when it's dry. Here is the painting all dried up and I think it turned out so beautiful, but because it uh, lost some of the gold, I am going to enhance it. You can see some of the gold there. There's some lacing and it's quite pretty. I just, I think it turned out so beautiful, but I wanna enhance some of the gold. So I'm gonna be just doing that a little bit, uh, putting a little bit more gold on. Just keep watching. So there is some gold, but it's mostly copper. So I really want to brighten it up some more. So I'm just gonna enhance it here. So you can really see the gold coming out. This is the same gold that I used yesterday. I had leftover, um, you know, with the water. That's all it is. It's the same gold that I used. And um, maybe I lost it because it had water in it. Anyway, I just want to add a little bit more so that you can really see the gold coming out. I think I, I like when it sparkles like that.
is the painting all done and I think it looks great. Look at that beautiful lacing. Wow, the copper really pops through. It's just too bad that I lost the gold. Now I did add some, but I think the blue was just such a strong combination, strong color that you can see some of it there, but not a lot. But that's okay, I think it still looks great. I love the bubbles and this beautiful green. I love that when it just kind of pops in that section as well as in this section here. Look at that, it's kind of like glowing from behind. And the green every once in a while pops up. It is beautiful, I like adding, I liked adding this um, kind of water splash. Makes it look a little more realistic, but really it is an abstract. And there it is, so check out D&D &D Gallery. The description uh, area will have their link as well as the link you see above right now.